Okay, we're going to make a short installation video for the upgrade for the tank lever knobs to make it easier to turn them and lock in place. So you'll be replacing these two knobs with these supplied knobs and these other parts here. Your first step will be to remove these two knobs by taking these two screws out. Now taking those screws out um, removes the uh, knobs for the four-wheel drive and the diff lock lever. Correct. Okay. And you can discard these knobs and these cable clasps. You will need those screws. These cable clasps, the, they rotate and the cable pops out the bottom like that. And that's how you get them off of there. This one here also. Rotate it like that and pop it off. And now you can put, uh, before you put the new ones on, you want to remove these two button head screws and the washers that are underneath them. So now the knobs are removed, the button head screws are removed. So we're going to take the new cable clasp and slide it. The cable goes through the hole like that and then it can rotate. Have it sitting down here like this. The knob, then the spring and then this spacer, All right. and this comes on here. You can see on here where there's flat parts on the knob and on the cable clasp. You see how they're not lined up there. Now they are lined up. You wanna try to keep those lined up as you put the screw and washer in. Just take this screw and washer, put this in here. See that the cable clasp and the knob are lined up in that same orientation. So you know that the flat parts on the cable clasp and the knob are gonna be lined up as you tighten this down. And this is how it should look. You should not be able to see the spring in here. If this knob is up higher and you can see the spring up here, then you need to tighten that screw down more and make sure that the knobs the, the flat parts are lined up. And then by pushing down on this lever and rotating, it unlocks. See it locks in there, it's locked, it won't move. Push down right here, push down and rotate and it pops right out. All right, we'll do the other one. Now onto the four wheel drive lever here. Got the cable out. the cable inside the cable clasp and rotate it and take the knob take the spring the spring on the knob the spacer on the knob and then make these flaps line up with the flats on the cable clasp push the knob in Helps if you apply some pressure down on the knob so that it's pushed up into the housing. Take the screw that you had before, the washer, screw this into the knob.
So I just wiggled it a little bit to get the flats to line up. You can see here that I don't see any of the spring. So that's down far enough. And then just like the other one, right now it's locked in the four-wheel drive position. By pushing down on it and rotating, it pops right out. Clicks in, locked, push down, rotate, pops out. And that's it. Now you have the upgraded levers. Beautiful.